hello welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today we're doing a little bit of a day in the life of a second year computer science student at king's college london i'm gonna get straight into it because i feel like i'm gonna be talking a lot during this video also i just wanted to quickly mention that this video is sponsored by grammarly so first things first i don't have a very consistent waking up time usually i wake up at around like 9 to 10 i won't lie most of my lectures start at 9 so I'm not very good at attending most of my lectures, but since we're still kind of half online, half in person, it doesn't affect me too much. A few months ago, I spent way too much money on bedding. I bought a really good blanket, really good pillows, really good sheets, and it's been amazing. But at the same time, I literally can't get out of bed in the morning. But once I do, the first thing I do is just make my bed because it makes me feel accomplished and it's literally half of my room. So after making my bed, I stretch for a little bit, but this is very different every time. Like I don't have any specific stretches i do every single day most of the time i mostly stretch my hamstrings because for example the day before this i went to take one dose so we were kicking really high and my hamstrings were really tight so i was just stretching and i do this yoga thing a lot where as you breathe in you go to a halfway lift and as you breathe out you go down and also sometimes i just give myself a head massage it's very random it's honestly just like what i'm feeling in the moment so <laughs> then if i'm going to a lecture which on this specific day i was i get dressed and put on my makeup straight away because honestly if i woke up to go to a lecture i'm probably late <laughs> so i don't have a lot of time to just like sit down and meditate and do yoga so straight away i get dressed i start doing my makeup also i don't know why i always leave this for the morning of but i also pack my bag for uni so usually that's literally like my computer my charger water student card keys airpods that's literally it like sometimes i'll bring a notepad if i'm feeling extra and i want to take notes but like that's literally almost never so <laughs> and this was my outfit for the day it was very simple but it was comfortable to be honest that's kind of a lie those jeans are way too tight but and then i put on my socks i put on my shoes and i'm out the door my commute to campus is so long like I live in central London and my campus is in central London, but I live on one side of central London and my campus is on the other side of central London. So it ends up taking me around 40 to 50 minutes to get to campus every day, especially if I'm going during peak time, that takes even longer because basically I live very close to one of our campuses, but I live really close to the medicine campus, but I'm not a medicine student. So I'm on campus a lot, but I'm not on the right campus. <laughs> I hardly ever go to my campus because it's very far away, but it is kind of, I'm not gonna say it's the main campus of the university, but it's certainly like the biggest campus of the university. So I wish I could be there every day. Like if I could, I would, but it's honestly very far away. So since midterms and exams are right around the corner, I thought this would be the perfect time to tell you guys a little bit about Grammarly. So if you've not heard of it before, Grammarly is a digital writing assistant. So it's basically a writing tool that improves your productivity, also helps you spend your time a lot more efficiently if you have multiple assignments. So so if you're a student in high school, university, or you just write a lot in general on your computer, you need Grammarly. It's also completely free and really easy to use in your everyday life. First thing I really want to mention about Grammarly is that they have this goal setting feature as you can see and it basically like allows you what kind of audience you're writing for. So if you want it to be more formal or if you want it to be a little bit more informal or if you want it to be like serious or insightful, like you can choose all of that to make it specifically for that type of audience. Also there's a word count. So if you ever need to check like if you're meeting your assignment requirements, that's very handy. And also if you ever need any like synonyms, Grammarly will literally replace your overused words with like better words suited for that situation. I literally cannot explain to you how much I used this during high school because I had to do all my English assignments. Like I literally had to do like English essays like two or three times a week. And without Grammarly, I would have died, especially with the synonym thing because literally I use the same words all the time. So with midterms, exams, assignments coming up you can succeed in school or uni with free tools like grammarly so make sure to check it out it's completely free so i don't see a reason why you wouldn't check it out so yeah make sure to check out all the links in the description and if you want to try out grammarly make sure to go to grammarly.com slash analytics this day somehow i came like 10 minutes earlier so i went to soho and i got a wrap i ate it very quickly like unhealthily quickly <laughs> and then went to my lecture this lecture wasn't on a monday so it's not as full like monday's lectures are always the fullest and then like as the week goes on it gets less and less full the same for me like i show up on a monday and then that's literally it for me 
but I think this lecture was a foundations of computing lecture and to be honest I didn't really know what was going on so for this lecture I was kind of editing because I was sitting in the corner then after the lecture ended I needed to go study and edit more on campus I don't know why I get intimidated a little bit because it's just like so many people and I'm still not used like we've literally been in uni for a year but I'm still not used to seeing so many people so I either go all the way to the library which is actually not that far but it feels quite far or I just go to a cafe and just work there so today I just went back to Soho which is the exact same place that I was getting my breakfast at and I just edited my video some more and looked over some of my coursework and there were some protests going on so I stayed in the cafe for a few hours and then I went home and the bus home was like 45 minutes so I decided to do some of my coursework because oh my god so many courseworks this year i'm literally dying but yeah i really like that the bus is really long because i can actually work on it like i prefer taking one long bus rather than like three short tubes because i can just focus more okay so this happens literally every single day but every single day i have a moment where i'm just unproductive for like two hours like completely not doing anything useful um i mean i was dancing for two hours so like technically it's a workout maybe but like, I didn't need to do that right now. I really didn't. Now I have to eat food very quickly so I can digest it as quick as possible. And then I have Taekwondo in less than an hour. So obviously I'm not going to digest my food, which is not great. Um, but I was supposed to do it earlier, but I didn't want to because I was dancing. Anyway, this happens almost every day as much as I would like it not to. There's always like two hours where I just do nothing useful. <laughs> So I did not make the most nutritious dinner I could have eaten because um, I was like really in a rush to go to Taekwondo. But I've been going to Taekwondo a lot actually. This is quite accurate for like day in my life. But I really really like it and I used to do it when I was a kid. So it gives me good vibes. Um, but after Taekwondo, I literally come home and just like I don't have energy for anything. Even as you can see here, I didn't film anything else after. But I really hope you guys enjoy this video. It was very simple, but it was just but it's my actual like kind of more or less everyday routine when I go to uni. I don't go to uni every day at all, but when I do, it looks exactly like that basically. More or less, like maybe Taekwondo is on a different day, but so yeah i may not be the most active computer science student there ever was but honestly i feel like i'm still adjusting from covid like i said like i'm just not used to being i'm just not used to going to real life classes which is fine but i really need to get into that but yeah right now i'm not really attending as much as i should be attending but try my best so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you all, let me know what more you want to see, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.